Why? What is, what is he working on? What's his reason to Well, Sapolsky is interested in studying stress, the effect that stress has on the body. And it turns out baboons are a perfect source of data because they're always under stress. You know, the one thing we know about baboons and have known forever is that they fight. Baboons. Constantly. Not just metaphorically, but literally have been the textbook example of a highly aggressive, male-dominated, hierarchical society. Because these animals hunt, because they live in these aggressive troops on the savanna, parentheses, just like we humans used to, and thus we evolved very similarly, they have a constant baseline level of aggression, which inevitably spills over into their social lives. Which is why he studies them. So what Sapolsky does basically is he goes into the bush and he watches. Here are field notebooks and there's a floor of them there and a whole shelf there. His office is covered with these field notebooks, each one containing detailed notes of who groomed who. And who's not getting along with who and who's messing around with who in the bushes. And he tells the following story of a particular moment in his baboon watching, which completely well, changed his life changed how he sees the world. It happened about 30 years ago. Spolsky was a young guy just out of grad school, studying his first troop. My my first baboons. A troop he really loved. These were animals I was very connected with. And in most ways, it was a pretty average group. Yeah, your basic baboon troop. The females were highly affiliated with each other. Um, they had a very stable ranking system. The males, meanwhile, highly aggressive, dumping on each other. Because that's just what males do. Right. <gasps> Thank mm-hmm. you.